Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Another gray, cool day out there across the Susquehanna Valley. Temperatures about 10 degrees above average in some locations, and we've had some rounds of light rain and some drizzle. That type of weather will stay with us once the sun goes down. Didn't see much of it today. Here's a live look right now over Lancaster. We do have overcast conditions and temperatures right now still holding in the low to mid 50s. Right now, 54 in the Red Rose City. Dew points sitting high in the upper 40s with the gentle breeze out of the south. Now the rain that we had, the steadier rain, that's now pushed east of the valley, but we will keep the chances for some areas of some drizzle and some isolated light showers through this evening because cold front still off to our west, back towards Pittsburgh and Erie and towards Charleston, West Virginia. But that front will work its way to the east and finally our weather will start to improve and brighten for the weekend ahead. So more of the same type of weather for this evening. Some spotty showers, cool conditions with temperatures hovering in the lower 50s. Lows tonight will still be near 50 degrees, and I do expect the shower chances will be highest till roughly about 2 o'clock in the morning. May see an isolated shower just before dawn on Saturday, but the drier air comes in in earnest. So as we head through the day tomorrow, the winds will pick up. We'll see some sunshine, and temperatures will top off in the low to mid 60s. So here's a breakdown. The rain chances overall quite low, and the rainfall intensity City will be light to just areas of some drizzle, but weather should be completely dry by lunchtime tomorrow. But the winds will be whipping. We could see some wind gusts up near 30 miles per hour as we head through Saturday afternoon. A light breeze will be around at times on Sunday, but at least it's dry. So that's good news for the Lancaster Stormers Fan Fest tomorrow out there at Clipper Magazine Stadium. Depters will be in the upper 50s towards the start of the event and then rising into the mid 60s. Just have the light jacket out there since we'll have that stiff breeze. Just 53 if you're watching us in Lebanon. 55 in Carlisle. There's the warmer air off to our west right now. Mid 60s in Pittsburgh and close to 70 at this hour in Elkins, West Virginia. But we're not going to tap into that warmth until we go on into tomorrow. So you can see the winds still primarily out of the east or southeast, but back towards Pittsburgh and Cleveland, they are starting to turn out of the west. So we're still socked in with that thick cloud cover. Cold front is still off to our west back towards Pittsburgh. But notice as we get closer to 8 o'clock, it starts nearing the I-99 corridor and there is going to be enough lift and enough moisture that some spotty light showers will be possible until about 4 to 6 a.m. tomorrow. Then that drier air moves on in. I do expect we'll get some sunny spells through the weekend, but thanks to some upper level energy rotating around the backside of the storm, think of it like spokes on a wagon wheel. We'll get spokes of those little pieces of energy at times that will allow for some clouds to form, but we should stay dry not only for your Saturday, but also for your Sunday. Finally, a nice dry stretch of weather for us here in the Susquehanna Valley. Temperatures will start warming as we continue to stay dry to early next week. Scattered shower chances will return to the valley for late Tuesday into Wednesday. More unsettled weather will approach the weekend again for the following weekend with temperatures back up to near average in the mid to upper 60s.